my town, we have it all. Big hair, big shoulder pads, and even bigger problems. Brett Easton Ellis served up a disturbing slice of 80s life in American Psycho, and now the writer is back with a second helping in The Informers. It features an impressive list of names, including Winona Ryder, Ree Siffens, Billy Bob Thornton, Mickey Rourke and Kim Basinger, reunited for the first time on screen since nine and a half weeks. Adapted by Ellis himself from his 1994 book of the same name, it's set in LA and follows a group of high and low lifers. You can't really make it in this town unless you're really willing to do some awful things. But the beautiful people aren't having such a beautiful time. I need something more than this. Graham, what else is there? You already have everything. We see the seedier side of La La Land as they bed hop and pop pills while word spreads of a scary new disease. You've guessed it, AIDS. The morality tale movie is a different kettle of fish to the original stories, though. The supernatural elements have been completely cut out by director Gregor Jordan. And rumour has it this was a move the writer wasn't too keen on. It's also the last work from late actor Brad Renfro. How old is this girl? I don't know. 16, 17. Sadly, it doesn't live up to the promise of the cast. The characters and performances are all so shallow, they give you little reason to even care. You're also sleeping with him and it's stressing me out. You're forgetting something. What? We're both sleeping with Martin. The one saving grace, though, is the music, which reminds us that despite all the goings-on, the 80s really weren't all bad. Hey!